Pompey, the envy of the cabaret world, the jewel of the Riviera. Only champagne for now to the finale. It's so nice to see so many old friends and so many new faces. Bonsoir, bonsoir, monsieur Dan, the inevitable is upon us. Welcome to the 15th edition of our world famous review starring the one and only Sasa. And featuring the notorious and dangerous Michelle. I warn you to remain in your seat while they can't jail for home. The management will not be responsible for your safety. And now, I beg you, open your eyes. You have arrived at La Carte. Oh, boy.
Go on! Ah, an applaudable sentiment, Jacob, but this season we are not <laughs> featuring butlers in the review. I am not the butler. I'm the maid. I hired a butler. Not a maid.
While we're on the subject, what subject? Mother. Uh, you know. What that Michel, I, uh, I thought that after the show tonight, you, your father and I might have a little supper and, uh, discuss your wedding plan. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, terrific. Oh, I'll be in your apartment when you're ready. We're starting on your room. Sorry, what on my room? Uh, nothing, my love. Uh, just a little spring cleaning. Haven't you told him? It's supposed to be a surprise. Don't you remember? Oh, Why? Why? Spring cleaning when it isn't spring. Well, it will be one day with any luck. I've got an orchestra, a chorus of lovely oddities, a song to sing. Now all I need is my star. What? <laughs> you would have to hire that tacky Tijuana tart. <laughs> Make the D is that 
flashing cars all pop. The hatchet girl is flashing. We import the drinks that you buy. So your ferry is Canada dry. <laughs> Eccentric couples always punctuate the scene. A pair of eunuchs and a nun with a marine. <laughs> to feel alive and get a limousine to drive you to La Cage. I'm pregnant at the bar. Just who is who and what is what is why the question has a casual call. Go for the mystery, the magic, and the mood. Avoid the hustlers and the men's room and the food. For you get glamour and romance and indigestion as a
out your eyebrows and put on a whole bunch of base, make your face all beige, and then you start painting on eyebrows and different lips and different eyes, a lot of blush. Um, it's interesting to watch the transformation I've noticed with some of the other cast members as each uh, different application goes on. Sometimes the character starts coming out and you notice more and more of the, the person that they're going to be playing in the evening come out. And uh, it's very interesting. When do you become Chantal? Is it when you put your wig on or before? Oh, she slips in and out <laughs> regularly. <laughs> I have no control over her. Chantal is a, a rather strong lady. No, I would say definitely by the time the wig and, and the costumes get on, when we're getting into a group, putting on our first costumes all together, then uh, we start bantering back and forth amongst each other. And I think her personality comes out then. Oh, it's different for me because I do a variety of roles. I do 11 different things, so it depends on who I'm doing. Sometimes I don't know until 7 o'clock when I walk in as to who I'm going to do. And for the past four weeks, I've been doing the character Phaedra, and that's been one I've done for almost six months off and on. And when I go in, I put on the makeup, and then it doesn't really happen for me until I turn around the first time and the audience sees me. What was it like for you that first time you saw yourself before? That's, I mean, I know in theater you're in full makeup, but what's it like in this kind of makeup? Very unusual. I looked in the mirror and I said, who is that? It's not me. Who is that creature? I, it was a, a very odd experience. I, I think the most interesting thing is you see yourself uh, as if you were a woman. If you had been born a woman, this is what you would probably look like. So you see uh, family traits in my face. I look like my mother. And so that was a big shock for me. And I wear a red wig, and my mother's a redhead. So <laughs> the first time I saw myself, uh, uh, a complete shock. <laughs> yeah. What was it like the first time your mother saw you? I'll find uh, out this Friday. <laughs> 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 they don't see it until this Friday, so uh, it'll be interesting. Well, my mother always says um, she carries around pictures of me with her all the time. She's a secretary in a high school, and on the back of her um, bulletin board, there's all these pictures of me, all my headshots and modeling stuff I've done, and then regular 
pictures of me in drag, and people say, who's that right there? And she goes, oh, that's my daughter. And I'll say, that's not Jerry. And she goes, no, that's Mark, as in the show La Cage Full. What did you say? What did your parents say to you the first time they saw you? They couldn't believe how pretty I was. They said, you're really pretty. And I said, well, sort of. <laughs> what about you? Well, my whole family is in theater. So they had even seen the show before I did it. And so when I went in and uh, told them that I had gotten the show, I sent them some photos on ahead to kind of break the ice before they actually saw me doing it. And uh, my mother really thinks, she loves most of my wigs. She loves my long red hair at this one point, and that's her favorite thing in the whole show. Did she think your makeup's a little too hair? She did give me some pointers. <laughs> <laughs> she told me I was wearing too much eyeliner, so I cut back. <laughs> it must satisfy mother, you know. Really? <laughs> Keep her happy. Um, do you have to shave more? What do you guys have to do? Uh, I shave five minutes before I have to start doing my makeup, and uh, on matinee days, I have to shave twice a day, and you have to shave really close. You buy really good razors. Yeah, the, the best idea is just to make sure you get a good close shave right before as close to showtime as possible. Do you have to get rid of body hair too? No. no. I, um, there's only one person who has to get rid of body hair, and that's under his armpits because he has a sleep, a pitless thing. Everything else has netting over it. Our, our body's completely covered all the time, except for our neck, and we put makeup all the way down to the bottom of our neck. So. But they very cleverly put netting that's, that's flesh colored that covers over things. Our legs, we do not have to shave. We have two pairs of stockings that go on, one pair of sort of a shiny white colored tights, and then regular support hose over the top of that. And it, you can't see leg hair through it. And walking in heels. Oh. <laughs> the first time we put on high heels, we had to dance for about nine hours that day. And uh, they bought us our shoes, and they took care of everything. But no one ever told us that you just don't start dancing like a wild man in high heels. You're going to break your neck. <laughs> so we all got in there, and we decided we were really going to go gung-ho for this rehearsal and you know, make sure that they knew we were terrific dancers. And I went home, and I thought I would never get over the pain. <laughs> I had to soak my feet all night. The balls of the feet, because it pushes everything right down to the balls of the feet, and that is. Uh, uh, that was a pain that I thought I would never get over. But uh, they're used, the feet are used to it now, for the most part. <laughs> Do you have a new appreciation for women? Yeah, whoever invented high heels should be shot. You know, I'm, I'm real sorry that women have to wear them at all. Oh, see, I'm just the opposite. I think good for them. It makes your legs look great. You go taller, your legs look thinner. You're, you know, it makes you better looking. If men, if it was in style for men, I swear to God, I'd be the first one to be on right <laughs> inside. With the highest heels, so my legs would look great and I'd look thinner. Why not? Uh, what about anything else? The mascara, I mean, does your mascara, do you have all the problems that other women have? And do you have a blush that doesn't stay on, eyeshadow that never lasts through the show? The hardest thing is the eyebrows. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, this airplane. Okay. Okay. And the answer is? The answer is? $50,000 yeah. pyramid. Yeah. Oh. The, hard, the hardest thing is the eyebrows, at least for me. I perspire quite heavily. So we put on eyebrows with a water base um, liner. And we paint them on above where our normal eyebrows are, and so they're more feminine. Uh, but when you perspire a lot, because it's water-based, it tends to trickle down your face. I've had to find a, a, a sealant, a fixer, that I put in instead of water, and it basically glues it onto my face, and that makes it uh, uh, much less of a problem. I think... Uh, what about the eyelashes? It's just different. You have to learn how to put on clothes without touching your face at all. Because if you run... OK. You have to learn how to put on clothes without uh, touching your makeup. And then the airplane landed, and it was wonderful. All these buses are strong. I mean, thank God. We go to the Betty Ford Clinic, and we learn how to be men again. No, I can know. The thing is, is that um, what people don't understand a misconception of what we do is that this is a regular Broadway show where we are actors, we're singers, dancers, actors, the whole bit, and it's a normal show for us. We go in there, and you walk in as a man, and you put on your makeup, and you go on stage, and you do your character, and then you walk out. It's like if um, you were 
you know, anything you're doing. If you're a neurotic, playing a neurotic person, you're not neurotic all day long. So we're not women all Hopefully day long. Not anyhow. You no, know. I understand that, but you do have to wear. I mean, you, in other broad missions, you have to wear a lot of makeup. Yeah, right. Well, you could wear. He could be in cats, let's but, say. And, yeah. the, and the cats thing is, you don't walk around and like sniff friskies all day. <laughs> you know, and so we don't look at high heels all yeah. day. And most of us were not drag entertainers before this most happened. Most of us. All of us. None, None of, us. of us were. Nobody has ever, you know, done a performance in. We're doing this because we got this particular job and this is what it entails. When you got the role, I mean, were you, you know, to learn the moves and to learn all this stuff, that you, like the, when I interviewed the people from Cats, they had to go through a lot of, you know, work to learn how to hunch their shoulders and walk. I mean, how was it, how was that part of the transformation for you all as, as men to you become a lot more observant of what women actually do, uh, what they walk like and what they uh, look like. I uh, have become addicted to eyebrows. I hate to keep coming back to it, but you look at women's eyebrows because they're plucked and they're shaped differently than men's. So you have to learn what makes a woman feminine and you try and copy that and make it work for you on stage. I had to definitely find out how my character moved first. I think that was where, once I discovered how Chantal, or a woman, any woman, might move and react physically, that was when I started uh, really capturing the role. What our choreographer told us was that we weren't supposed to be real campy and real girly, feminine drag queens, like a, a typical drag queen. And he said that there are, you know, every person has male and female characteristics. And that's what we were trying to use, just bring out the female characteristics in us make it a little softer for us. If you know you walk softer, use your hands softer rather than, rather than being butch. And then there's another number in our show, which is masculinity. And they tried the same thing there, where we don't want to be campy butch and be too like forceful, you know, fake masculine, just normal for a normal woman or a normal man. The Castle Falls has been around for a pretty long time now. It was on Broadway and the movie and all that. So most people know what the show is going to be about. That, that's probably the most fun thing about the opening is a lot of times uh, the husbands aren't necessarily uh, into theater as much, but they decide that they're going to take their wives to see a good Broadway show. And so they get in there, and the opening of the show, we all turn around, and before we say anything, they just see us as women. And then the very first line of the show is, we are what we are, and we sing it in a normal bass baritone voice and you see some people fall out. They can't believe that you're a man. Yeah, it's uh, I think for the first portion of the show, a lot of times you can feel perhaps the audience is a little bit like... And a play! All at the same, the play. Please, it's all at the same time. Yeah. Hmm. Back to right. Philip. Back to Philip. In the uh, first part of the show, you definitely sense some audience's hesitancy. And by the time the show really gets rolling, it's extremely exciting to see them won over, because they always are. Uh, we haven't had an audience yet that's not with us totally by the end of the show. And really get involved. When Sasa sings the, uh, the same, we are we are the second time, right? very universal, this song. I mean, it's not just that he is a drag queen and he wants to be represented. That it's more universal is that everyone is what they are. And you know, everyone can adapt it to your, to your own self. And you, know, you think about it like that whatever you're doing, if that's what you're happy with, then let it be known. You know, that's what they're trying to say. And it's not a universe, it's not a thing about, I'm a homo, so I'm gonna, you know, it's good. It's that you are what you are. Well, I think if, if there is a message from a show, all it is is that um, people are people. And if we can all learn to accept each other for what we believe in personally, then we'll all get along better. You know, you just say, I'm, I'm in theater, I'm a performer, and uh, you're a television interviewer. And that's OK. We don't have any problems. So let's not make any. Let's not look for any problems. <laughs> the 
Yeah, yeah. It's a and they accept the, the couple also All right. because well, they show they emote the same things as any couple that would be together for years and years. Well, it's definitely a show about love and about interpersonal relationships. Um, no matter what the definitions of those particular relationships happen to be, it is simply about love and people getting along and loving each other. Bachelorette number three. That's it. Now we move on. Um, so, like Patrick Paul, how's Peter Marshall? Is he really? Um, He's great. <laughs> no. He's great. The game show got picked up, by the way. So yeah, he's yeah, yeah. really happy. Yes, really he is happy. very pleased. Yeah. Things are going very well for him. <laughs> is he fun? Is he fun? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a, a very kind and uh, considerate man. So he's, he's a blast. Really easy to get along with. He's got a really rich voice, too. I mean, yeah. he's got a well, he started as a club singer, as a, a big band singer. So he's been singing most of his life. The game shows are just something that happened. Well, this would make my foot look real small and, and petite. It's my size. I don't think mine, they come in my size. Nothing comes in my size. It's kind of scary. Can you imagine what a size 11 would look like on my foot? <laughs> what size it already is that? Like looked a like nine? Boats, probably an eight or something. What I had. Here. Oh, this is One, a size two. 11. That's it. Oh, God. You are Zorro. <laughs> Zorro the what? <laughs> the blade. Zorro. Dear me. The Lacage blade. Spats, like in the old shows. Like my, my cat. Mm. Well, these are mm -hmm. tasteful hats, actually. I think you need some. They're all, believe it or not, they're all. What do you want a boa for? This is definitely not your color. <gasps> Purple. See, this is for it's you, purple. purple. Or, or you're into the red turkey Actually, feather. Actually, this, this is what I think is more tasteful than anyone. What? I think that's, that's attractive. Is that me? I think that's a look you could probably <laughs> go kind with. Of I think probably. It's it looks like me. I think, think, no, it doesn't look anything like you. <laughs> it is me. <laughs> oh, um, yes. What I else think you need to we... wear the virginal white. Mm. There's purple <laughs> shoes. Purple shoes. Well, I think Chantal should have some of these hats. <laughs> this is tasteful. <laughs> this is something subtle for me. <laughs> oh, what is that? Where'd you get that? Wait a minute. I don't <laughs> these hats are truly tasteful. Wait. Some serious what? clothes. It's Look, it's Lillian Montevecchi. <laughs> I'm in the dark. In the dark. <laughs> oh. Here you go, Johnny. This is for you. Oh, a perfect color for me. Right. On stage. Now, these are pockets, but they're supposed to go into your army other coat. Oh, and then they go right into your own pocket. It goes over a heavy parka. Uh -huh. like green parka in my pocket. What did uh, I just do? It's a real need. Yeah, you could, like, yeah, sport some fashion in it. I think it goes great with this outfit. Mine, too. Oh, oh I think nice. yours looks better, though. Looks better on you. There, I win. Did we discover there's no pocket? Yeah. No. Uh... This oh. is better than taffeta any day. Mm. Oh, I think so. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. It's Does this come in chiffon? Thank you, PM Magazine, for buying. <laughs> Thank you, PM Magazine, for buying taffeta? all of these for us. They're great. Yeah. I like it. This is going to be the new company look. Right. Yeah, we'll have, like, Lakaja Fole in Boston in the back. Oh, and yeah. Right. We'll have Leslie Ellis. <laughs> Give her the needle. Right. So. I don't know how it looks look with your bows. And, and our bows? Our you don't bows. think it'll go? I think probably we could sequin the whole thing, don't you? We could, just um, do a spray. Just throw paint on it. Makeup stains look great. Yeah. It's and definitely a car. There probably will be a Fader Goes Hawaiian. No. Bowling shirts. Oh. Mm. Gidget does Hawaii. Lacage does Hawaii. I'm gonna get you to pull one off. Sure. There again, and just go ahead and try it on. Yeah, let's see. This one looks like it could be the right size. No, nope, it's a little small for my Hawaiian holiday. Hold on. I'll find something. Oh, here's a great one. It's too short and sleek. 
Yeah. Yeah, so what else is new? Here we go. It's not big enough. Ooh, it's me. Short enough it's you. You think? Actually, With the shirt underneath, the layered look? Kind of like any hall in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> any hall goes Hawaiian. This looks like something my mother has. I think this is my mother's dress. <laughs> she had no taste. Wait. I look better in her dresses than she does. Where's Tom's dick? Tom's oh. <laughs> fired. <laughs> fired. He was asked to leave. OK. So this is your cost? This is pretty. It's the new Phaedra gown. The new Phaedra. This is what we're going to have Michael McKee wear as soon as he takes my place. <laughs> Sorry, no beats for you, Michael. <laughs> you know that if we bring Johnny Anselone in here, he'll have to try everything on. Let's see. This is yellow for Chantal. Oh, Chantal. Oh, God. I think Chantal. Chantal's is color is yellow. Lovely in this. It's and, uh, the right length. Oh. <laughs> I'll no. bet it's not I think the you right need to like have and a different pretty, dress cut, pretty though. Odette I blue so. with a smart wrap jacket. <laughs> a smart wrap jacket. <laughs> I don't know. And Phaedra goes to the prom. You look like Sandra D. Well, oh, I think that's whatever mm -hmm. happened to Tippy Hedren? <gasps> that's oh, no. look, rhinestones. Rhinestones. Oh, oh, tall Louise, nice flow. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, just like Ginger Rogers. Oh yes. Did you haven't you found you anything to yeah, wear yet? Oh, for me, I found the Ethel coat. coat is it though. Oh, the coat. Where is Fred? That does not look like something Ethel Mertz would wear. Yeah. This is all Cindy Lauper. Yeah. Uh, Cindy's out. Please. Madonna is in. Madonna. It's too bad. It's too yeah. bad. She's my favorite. Ooh. Ooh. That's my color. <laughs> you ready? Uh, dun, dun, dun. OK. I know he wants the purple one, so. <laughs> It'll be like the commercial where they have those terrible hairs on. <laughs> they have fishnet stockings on these guys, and it makes their legs look like tree trunks. <laughs> go ahead and drop it all the way down in there, and then just reach your hand in there and go. I think this is definitely oh, your color. I think it has to be purple, but then the definite fade to red on top, right? But it doesn't say anything about that in GQ. Look. No? Uh, I don't know. The virginal Chantal. Chantal. <laughs> I know that's a contradiction in terms, but <laughs> we can pretend. There's an Odette Blue in there. Pull it out, Johnny. This teal. That's for you. I knew this was my color. I like my yeah. yeah. It yeah. matches the bow on. Yes. Wait, does she sing, too? It matches my Always. sweater. I could have, like, my sweater oh. edged in the whole thing. <laughs> Chantal is singing. Oh. That's OK. He's used to stepping on all of my. Moments. Lines. Well, he sings in the dressing room too, which is wonderful. Yes, he Look, does. a beautiful and moving experience. And here's the perfect oh. one for Hana. Oh, that's Black and white. I think we're gonna have to take them all. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's, it's a wrap. <laughs> what else is in Oh, I think I'll wear it in the dressing room. You think it's set off? Very slimming. I could probably yes. belt it, don't you think? <laughs> do you think this is like real you subtle? Belt it. Something in fuchsia with a belt and some mink. Uh. Yeah. I, I it, matches your, it actually matches your sweater and everything. I oh, well, how clever for me. John, are you the one that barks like a chihuahua or screams like a chihuahua? Excuse me. That's what I was told by the young guy. Barks like a chihuahua? I didn't say bark. I said sounds like in the opening of, of, I said I was explaining you're the one in the center that always just can't can and it goes woo woo yeah. all the time. No, I'm the one with the extra long eyelashes. He is the one with I the eye shrubs. They're not lashes. That's right. He is the one with the gams that captured Georgetown. Yes, I'm That's also right. the most pretty, but I think this he is definitely for me. Don't you think? It's terrible to be in the same dressing room with him because he is the most pretty. But I have the longest tongue. Of course, Chantal oh. is the most talent. <laughs> yes, let's put that all across. I the do. Room. It's my <laughs> talent. It's the only thing I can his, do in the show is stick and out my tongue. And long tongue. And kick higher than anyone else. <clears throat> Not higher than. Oh, if we're fighting about, about kicking here, here let's I'll go now. win. Let's go now. Let's not get ugly outside. <laughs> oh, we're not. I'll pull that hat off your head. It's my hat. Get, well, get, get your first for look. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is the tasteful new yeah, Chantal look. Oh, it's oh, these. Oh, cigarette, cigarette holders. holders. Let me take the tag. Oh. What do you think? 
That's cute. This kind of cute, isn't it? This? It's very slimming. I may wear this for the party this evening. Oh, how do you mean? Look at your glasses. <laughs> I think they're quite tasteful, actually. Oh. I need a hat or something for my dude. You need a hat. You need a hat. Yeah. Something with feathers oh. here. Oops, careful. How about the post on the bottom? And come right on. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you like my outfit? <laughs> nice little dress and look hat. Look at the 80s. Oh, I don't know. This one might be yeah. more tasteful. What can I say? I don't know. Your turn. I need something else. I just am not complete. Oh, yes, perhaps you're right. I think so. Reading G Jimmy Deere. That one or this one? I need some beads. Oh. Here. Oh, it doesn't feather, nice. yes. I've, I've it matches color. perfectly. It does match. How do these go yeah. on? Sure. Come walk on. Side, I'll put them on the side. This is it. This is the end. This is oh, look. this one's better. The matches of the 80s. <laughs> I'm not sure I do this. I think it's really stunning with the fur. The fur and feathers that I've always worn together. Wait. And some Wait, nice and some beautiful beads. beads. Behind That's it. See, you do know okay. more than I do. I think I'm satisfied. How much does this cost? <laughs> it's really wonderful of you to get all this for me. Thank you, PM Thank, Thank you, PM Magazine. PM Magazine. We love you. For all of your... Oh, <gasps> oh look it at it. It is Debbie Roche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Philip Clayton. Have the three of you sitting down reading GQs. GQs. Well, of course, we know everything about GQ. We know everything about all the tasteful wear. Jimmy, dear, here's your ashtray. <laughs> Darling. Hey, you read GQ. Oh, GQ. I GQ. want Vogue. I was going to read Vogue. No. I know all about GQ. Mm. I wrote the book on fashion. Oh. <laughs> Sick. Sick. Here we are. Body and soul fitness. Mm. Mm. For a delicate balance. What a wonderful article on Hermione Gingle. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this the cutest doggy? Men's clothing are boring after wearing all this stuff. No, bye bye, oh. doggy. No. <laughs> no, it's just not quite as colorful. Yeah, oh, here, I think you can make doggy. a new fashion Poor statement. Thing. Do you think this is a fashion risk? That's my question. It's a statement, you, that's for I sure. I think you and Alan Carr could be seen many places together <gasps> and not even raise an eyebrow. Uh, Perhaps. Probably. You know what's nice is you are, you're tall for the look. Sorry. You know, yeah, nice. the, the tall look can always carry things off. Yeah. yeah. Anything you wear. Anything. Slim. Yes. Very yes. slimming, too. Yes. Dear me, dear. Well, I think, you know. That is a main. The red brings out the... Tape, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Just pretend you like need the dog. Get the dog in <laughs> You want the dog back for motivation? Oh, I think I can do it without. <laughs> How much is that doggy in the window? Oh, the one with the waggly tail. How oh, much is that doggy in the window? I do have doggy for sale. <laughs> oh, my mother's going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <sighs> Good. Hi, just so we can have one shot walking out of the store. In this? Like this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why not? Very yeah. Oh, do I? Oh, okay. Mm. Do you mean to carry the dog out? Like I bought it here, too? <laughs> Come here, dog. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here. Hi. Hi. You the dog and Philip wants to be this. Can you imagine? And you think me saying homo before was something bad? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Honey, I gotta... Oh, we're getting the go-ahead. Okay, go on. Come on, Philip. Come on, darling. It's time to leave, darling. Shh. Philip's no longer here. It's Chantal now. Who? <laughs> Chantal Louise. Oh, oh. Yeah, Let's go up to that chocolate place. Great <laughs> chocolate. Yeah. I know. It's like a rat, though. Oh. Am I in the way? No, don't I'm worry. Happy. It's okay. We do this all the time. I'm sorry. Don't go, worry. Go. go. Are we going? Okay. Now, this looks like. That's cute, darling. Yeah, I, I think you know what? Do you know what? I gave this to Deb. I gave one of yeah. those to Debbie for opening. Did you? Oh. <laughs> Look at my little baby. Look at the I'm baby, Chantal. Look at the baby. I can see the baby. Yes. The baby. The audience is not going to be able to see the baby for your white. <laughs> <laughs> I feel terrible. Get that cat. Oh, taxi! <laughs> Wait! Ta taxi! <laughs> taxi! <laughs> Thank you, Bernadette. Please. 
please. Get off. team it now. <laughs> Okay, you feel what I'm doing to your face, how light I'm brushing oh, yeah, yeah. and how much paint cake yes. I'm using? Go I ahead and do so. that. Okay. Don't touch your eyebrows. Right, yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Like so? Yep. All right. And use lots of water and lots of paint tape. Can you help uh, Joel a little bit? Sure. Lots of water and lots of pancakes. Yep. Right. Come on in. in. What do you think? Look at you. You look great. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're being kind. Well, I am. <laughs> That's so Any good, suggestions? Though. How am I doing on the That's technique? Okay. Here? All right. All right. Here, I'll do your brows. Too wet. Is this water? Well, he told me to use a lot of water. We all it's okay. It's hard to do. Niagara Falls, though, right? Right. Certainly. Yeah, so that's his line. Like I always said at Le Cage à Faux, too much is just enough. Let's see, now look in there. Oh, that's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Listen right. to me, I'm saying not bad, not bad. Look at this. Reggie, can you come over this way? I'm seeing that core thing. Do you want him to turn around to, towards you? Okay, so he's being they reveal. Yeah, I can see everything. Yeah, I want you to turn around to the camera and give us some. Me? I'm seeing it. No, um, Joel. Yeah, what would you like me to say? Just give us some. Um, How's that, David? Right. I, you guys really should save on footage because he's got a lot. Nice. Use his paint. Yeah, I have okay, some he's stuff got here. Oh, Joel, that could be a good one. If I ever get all the way through, well, at least I've got a great person. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 These actors, they too expressive. Never likes their faces. Yeah. Pretty good line there. Well, Chantal, that should be one of your crucial areas, right? Chantal has sensual heart-shaped lips. I give seminars if you're interested. Did you get that, Daniel? Do that again. Yeah, they're gonna go over here since he's facing the camera. Huh? Chantal has sensual heart-shaped lips. I give That's seminars if you're interested. Oh, you do? Good. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> now wear a lovely shade known as Sugar Daddy Red. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead and hit where his hair is coming out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think of uh, Joel right now? Well, he doing? he's doing great. He's being real nice and quiet. He's not, his eyes aren't flinching. And um, he's being a lot better than I was the first time someone did this to my face. But then again, I was waiting on it to see if I had a job or not. Well, what do you think he'd 
looks like. I mean, I've had one after this. That's true. I got one looking like this, and you may lose yours looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's got some potential here. Yeah? Yeah. There's a character in the New York production that's not in ours that you could maybe uh, step right into. Hmm. It's Mercedes. I always wanted to get into a Mercedes, but I never thought it would be this way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Get 'em. laughs> Come on, Waka, that's my job. Waka. That's pretty, go ahead and extend it up. Yeah. Give him drama. You know he does look like, um, what's the movie? Um, did I let you borrow, Johnny? Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to fake you out. What's that one? Um, the dresser. The dresser, yeah. Can you let Joel turn to us just for a second? Sure. Is it okay to open my eyes? Oh, yeah. Where are you? Where I'm are here. You're, you're right here. <laughs> <laughs> You get used to it after a while. I think I'm a trick of here. Yeah? Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> not again. <laughs> of course, you're not going to want to show this on TV. What are you doing? It keeps it from getting on your lip, uh, your lipstick getting some on your teeth. What is it you doing? Putting Vaseline on your teeth? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, brush it. Oh, I see. There's no blush. Oh, that hag. Yeah, hag. Look at her. I'm, I'm beautiful. What are you talking about? I'm almost finished. Let me see. He's like Ronald McDonald in drag. Really nice to be. You're not a very nice person. Oh, well, I mean, there you mm -hmm. Hag. John is cute, though. I know he's prettier than I am, and I hate it. I'm just about ready for wigs. I'm going to hit you with some. Okay. When we do the wigs, we're going to put the bag oh, these on them. right now. Can you tell her, you know, like, <coughs> when does the transformation, when you start putting on the makeup for you? Yeah, when the final touches, the makeup is happening. I, I feel Chantal slipping how, into the room, too. How would you describe her character? Oh, Chantal really believes that she is the only talent in the club of La Full, and all the other entertainers are simply, have no talent. That's what Chantal feels. Chantal also feels that she has more talent than Zaza, who is, of course, the star attraction at La Caja Full, and she feels that she should be able to go on just for, for Zaza, or instead of Zaza, and doesn't understand why she, in fact, doesn't do now, that all the time. Barely. Don't shut your eyes, but don't. Open She's a them. diva. Look, close them down. We'll, look, we'll open, a little more open. I like right what she tells, uh, she tells us. That's all I can. Don't move your eyes. You're doing good. It's almost dry. Now I'm ripping off your lowers. And He's doing great. Yep. Yeah, almost you dry. You, you're beautiful. God, you really are. I just got to look at you in the mirror. A little severe, but. Well, I don't know. Nothing you date. Well, nothing you take home to mother. I don't think I'll be going to the prom either. So. <laughs> Let's see Joel turn to us a little. Okay, I can't move my eyes yet. Oh my God, a little severe. Lady severe. It's a new line of cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at those. You have bushes on, not eyelashes. It's like the Grand right. Puma from um, oh. my dear. Those aren't calves. They're steers. Or that Richard Simpson. Is that his name? Who's the Puma? Simmons. Okay. Okay, now you can open your eyes. You didn't mascara his lashes. I, I did mine afterwards. Oh. Women actually do this? Well. Well, not most of <laughs> them. They do, they ain't dating. In dating? Dating. Oh, in dating. Dating is what you call it in Texas. In dating, too, right? Dating. Mm hmm. Okay, I need to do something. Do it again, John. Sorry, Mark. Mark, I'm sorry, Mark. Yeah, there we go.
What's the flavor? Of it? This is Phaedra blush. It's the top. Phaedra. So it matches your red gown at the end. I get to wear a red gown? You're really good. <gasps> Pretty peak. John, what kind of uh, uh, lipstick are you using on him? What is this one called? This is called Rich as Ruby Gloss Number Five. You know what a guy told me the other day? So I just reminded me was at the bar. I ordered a martini, and he said, "Well, martinis are like breasts. One's not enough, and three's too many." Rumble. Just reminded me of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? This is a terrible lip brush. Yeah. Um. Go right ahead. Action. Mark. Oh, great. What do you got? And this is your, this is blush, the top blush. It's what only the Phaedrus can use. Because it's a little redder than all the rest. It matches the red dress that you are on the logo with the anchor on your arm. Oh. The red bonnet. For red dress. And you get to dance with Peter Marshall. Gee. I asked him a couple times if I could be a contestant. Uh -huh. He says no, but I keep trying. I'm going for the million. What do you think of John? He is like, the sweetest person to work <laughs> with. He's so nice. <laughs> he is He is the funniest man living. He cracks me up every single time I go on stage. He makes me laugh. And Phaedra has to do like a disco, like a, like your dance, like a disco with him. Uh -huh. And it's funny saying we laugh, have a great time. Once he was, he was talking to his children and he mis mistook um, one of the girls for one of the guys. Oh, so, yeah, didn't, he, didn't Debbie have a great ass and it happened to be Louie? <laughs> oh. Good lips, Johnny. Thanks. It's just this brush doesn't hold much color. I'm like abusing his lips. Let me see if I can wipe some Those of this. They're great lips. Yeah. It's really my color, it's not purple. Uh, <laughs> this is like a real purple color, I've never... What do you think of Joel now? He looks good, doesn't he? Look at him. Nice, big, sensuous bottom lip. You get a lot of gloss on it. open your mouth a little. Oh, there you go. I feel like a dentist. Mm. Say, ah. Uh. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. oh. Oh, this is lip. Or on your lower lip. Can you fill that in sure. without like go going down by the lines, right? Just go between the lines, like. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good stuff. And you can hit your upper lip where the little circle things are. Up here. Mm-hmm. Come in. <laughs> here, Alan. Let me give you a lock up. Marilyn Monroe, like right there. She's one of my favorites. Say it again. I think we should give him a beauty mark. Okay. I think we should give him a beauty mark. What do you think? Like, like, yeah. a Marilyn, like Marilyn Monroe? Monroe? Okay. Yeah, right. Like go around once. Right here. Say, uh, how do you guys think the Redskins are going to do this year? <laughs> you still have a roll up on that, Dave. This is one Cowboys are going to beat them. Cowboys you, will go to the Super Bowl. No, no. The of Redskins course. are going to be there. Redskins they just got a slow start. You guys. They've already lost. On. Wait a second. We're trying to sell tickets. We lost all my tickets. Downs. You did? Yeah, if he, if he saw in the air, then he forgot. So, uh, okay. <laughs> Give us a little... Oh, look, he's got a great profile. Look, turn to the side. Look at that. It's pretty, isn't it? Look. <laughs> now give a smile, but not a full smile. Just show your teeth. Let your bottom lip drop. Relax your mouth. There you go. Remember inner beauty. <laughs> so, uh, what's your favorite John Wayne movie? <laughs> the Cowboys. The Cowboys, all right. <clears throat> oh, all right, now. Oh, uh, it's Sean. Oh. All right, it's my wig turn. Right. Anything else he needs to have on his face? You see, you got a He has a mask, probably. But... Gee, you know, you guys are swell. That's great. Um, Who would have thought? My mother always wanted a girl. I'm too. getting you in the mirror. Actually, I think I it's better that she didn't look as she would have been disappointed. Well, they told us all about their mothers, what their mothers thought, thought well, the first time. I'd like to say I looked like my mother, but 
I don't think so. I hate to break it to you. Do you know where my water here is? Uh, uh, what you really need, I think, is just simply a great deal of distance. Mm-hmm. That will be a nice... How about Cleveland? It'll be fine. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not going to fine. I think I'm sweet. Oh, I think you're quite lovely. I mean, I can fall. I can be narcissistic. I can fall in love with myself like this. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Nightmare. So uh, as you're talking about being narcissistic. All right. Want me to repeat that? Yeah, right. repeat it. Well, I can be narcissistic even like this. I think I'm sweet. It's me. Sure. Just to tease. And uh, go right ahead. Okay. The Oh, they've got like independent suspension. Yes. I didn't realize that. No. Well, yeah. Well, it's important. Yeah. Hopefully, it covers up some of our hair. Then the next thing I do is go down to my wig appointment and put on my tap dress. And these high heels. If you didn't want to watch my technique, I have them. I'm a singer. My <laughs> shoes. Oh, real comfortable. Particularly with taps on them. But silver always has been a favorite color of mine. I wish my mother was here to do this. No. I mean the scenes, but I don't do it. You don't them. do it. No. Chantal doesn't tumble. Never does. We must my hair. Party. <laughs> We're in the shower. Keep that. Be careful they don't slam shut. <laughs> He's going to put his tabs on, too. Joel, do you see these shoes they have to wear? These are like 275. Mm. These are four. 275 with hair. So, yeah, what size are those, Chantal? Chantal doesn't have petite feet, but she has other tabs. Two seconds later, it comes back up to the office. They're size 12. You're not in this shop. Like, don't be drag. I'll try and hurry up with my wig. So long. So long. You gonna get your costume in? Let's uh, try that costume on. No, Al. I'll do it. I'll do it. And may I remind you again, please do not leave valuables in your dressing room, not during the show, and certainly not when you're not here. I'm not quite sure. Fifteen minutes, please. The call is fifteen. Fifteen minutes. Joel, let's see. I feel like Joan Freeman Crawford. I'm telling you. You guys have great legs. What's that? You look like him. That was Joel. What kind of mirror down here, as if you're still. Well, in my day, I was quite something. <clears throat> in your day? You got a good memory. <laughs> 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 this is too much. <laughs> Joel, what do you think of them? So you, look like I, you guys are marvelous. You look like really my twin guys. sister. <laughs> you guys are beautiful. You really are. Yeah. The, Thank Depends you. on your perspective, certainly. Oh, of course. Well, there was a stage Quite hand really. backstage in one town that said to me, if I didn't know better, I swear I'd be in love. Well, you so, can't ask for better than that. No. Proof is in the footer. Mm. <sighs> what might have been? A career in the theater. 
Well. I cannot think of anything. It's a nice color on your job. Well, you know, what I can tell you about this experience is that I have always depended upon the kindness of strangers, and I thank you very much. Do he will. I mean, he will. He won't stop. He won't stop? No. Okay. Take him down the hall or to his own room or just try to. You're gonna go to my room? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that little schmuck on your head is kind of cute. I wish I had thought of it. Thanks. I don't look much like a guy, though. You don't look much like a guy. The three of you get together with Joel. Oh, come How nice. I think you look really cute. Well, thank you. Great. Yes. What's wrong with you? You look you need heels. Except for you the marabou here, you could uh, possibly go on and do Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> I'm alone. <laughs> well, I, um, uh, go ahead. You need heels. D definitely. Definitely heels. Definitely what heels. size is his wear? Maybe a wig. I think maybe I a wig. I think a brunette. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah. Now, all definitely. Of, yeah. But blondes have the three, much more like fun. Clowns. Really? Is that true? Yeah. Blondes have much more fun. Well, maybe next time. Speak for yourself. I don't know. Chantal has a lot of fun. She's a brunette. Can you, no, yeah. can you can, they each do something? Can you right. try to see I if you can get in the show? Do something? Yeah, well, okay. Well, well, you <laughs> have a specialty. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do that. Neither can I. You learn. <laughs> you learn. No. But I'm older. Quiet. <laughs> Much older. Now, each of you has a, a specialty that you do in the show. Mm -hmm. Like, right. what's yours? My eyelashes. And you? I sing! And? And I have big hips and walk and stick out my tongue. Uh-huh. And uh, what do you think that leaves me with? Um, Backstage? No. Backstage. Uh, hairdressing. I curtain. think you'd be a wonderful the hairdresser. hairdresser. Well, Pull the curtain. Spotlight. Well, or first flute? Maybe I could... <laughs> Could I, like, be a wardrobe assistant or something? Well, have you ever considered the wonderful world of fast food? How, how, did your, <laughs> how did your voice change? You sound like a girl. Oh, I don't know. It's one of those things. The, the lipstick lip. and I, the sensual heart-shaped lips. Well, I... What a world of fast food. I could go, you know, down the street and try Death of a Salesman, maybe. Good. Maybe there's something Death there. Death of a Drag Queen, you could call it. Okay. <laughs> no hope for Joel. No. No hope, is that what you want to say? No cash out, huh? I'm pretending my box to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, just one, two, three, kind of snappy, and go. Don't give up your day job, but have fun. Thank you. Now don't cry, darling, it'll be fine. It's Thank great you. that you've got the M magazine. Break a leg. Thanks. Well, maybe at midnight, the pumpkin will turn into a coach or something. That was great. Very nice, very great. quick. Oh! 
the eyebrows. The eyebrows. I kind of squish them a little more towards me. There we go. Okay. Crawford, maybe, John? Maybe. Give me a coat hanger. Yeah. I was hoping for Barbara Stan. So that I could help out whenever possible, but... He needs a lot. All right. Well, I'll do your role and I'll do one. Yeah. Yeah. We've reached okay. the point where one person helping isn't enough. <laughs> we have to double team it now. <laughs> Okay, you feel what I'm doing to your face, how light I'm brushing oh, yeah, yeah. and how much paint cake yes. I'm using? Go I ahead and do so. that. Okay. Don't touch your eyebrows. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Like so? Yep. All right. And use lots of water and lots of paint cake. Can you help uh, Joel a little bit? Sure. Lots of water and lots of paint cake. Yep. All right. Come on in. What do you think? Look at you. You look great. <laughs> um, I think you're being kind. Well, I am. <laughs> That's so Any good, suggestions though. how I do it on the That's technique? Okay. All right. All right. Here, I'll do your breath. Too wet. Is this water? Well, he told me to use a lot of water. We all it's okay. It's hard. Need Niagara Falls, though, right? Right. So good. That's his line. Like I always said at La Cage Fall, too much is just enough. Let's see. Now look in there. Oh, oh that's pretty good. Not okay. bad. Not bad. Listen right. to me, I'm saying, not bad, not bad. Look at this. Reggie, can you come over this way? I'm seeing that core thing. Do you want him to turn around to, towards you? Okay, so he's being they reveal. Yeah, I can see everything. Yeah, I want you to turn around to the camera and give us some. Um, me? I'm seeing it. No, um, Joel. Yeah, what would you like me to say? Just give us some. Um, How's that, David? Uh, uh, you guys really should save on footage because he's got a lot. Guys. Use his paint. Yeah, okay, he's got here. Oh, oh Joel, that could be a good one. If I ever get all the way through, well, at least I've got a great person. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, great. Yeah, I feel yeah. beautiful yet. He says, How come I don't feel beautiful yet? Because you have to feel it from the inside. It's uh, inner beauty. Mm -hmm. Open up, keep it open. Mm -hmm. See these actors? They're too okay. expressive. Relax their faces. Yeah. Pretty good line there. Chantal, that should be one of your crucial areas, right? Chantal has sensual heart-shaped lips. I give seminars, if you're interested. Did you get that, David? Do that again? Yeah, they're going to get over here since he's facing the camera. Chantal, Chantal has sensual heart-shaped lips. I give That's seminars, if you're interested. Oh, you do? Good. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I wear a lovely shade known as Sugar Daddy Red. Mm. Mm. Go ahead and hit where his hair is coming out. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Joel right now? Well, he doing? he's doing great. He's being real nice and quiet. He's not, his eyes aren't flinching. And um, he's been a lot better than I was the first time someone did this to my face. But then again, I was waiting on it to see if I had a job or not. Well, what do you think he looks like? I may not have one after this. That's true. I got one looking like this, and you may lose yours looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's got some potential here. Yeah? Yeah. There's a character in the New York production that's not in ours that you could maybe uh, step right into. Hmm. It's Mercedes. I always wanted to get into a Mercedes, but I never thought it would be this way. <laughs> Hit him. <laughs> Come on, Waka, that's my job. Waka. Waka. That's pretty, go ahead and extend it up. Yeah. Give him drama. You know, he does look like, um, what's the movie? Um, did I let you borrow, Johnny? Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to fake you out. What's that one? Um, the dresser. <laughs> The dresser. Yeah. Can you let Joel turn to us just for a second? Sure. Is it okay to open my eyes? Oh yeah. Where are you? Where? I'm here. You're, you're right oh, here. 
<laughs> I kind of like it. You get used to it after a while. I think I'm a trick with you. Yeah? Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> not again. <laughs> of course, you're not going to want to show this on TV. It keeps it from getting on your lip, uh, your lipstick getting from on your teeth. What is he doing? Putting Vi Vaseline on your teeth? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I see. There's, there's no blush. Oh, that hag. Yeah, hag. Look at her. Oh, I'm beautiful. What are you talking about? I'm almost finished. He's yes. like Ronald McDonald and Drag. Really nice to be. You're not a very nice person. How well I mean, are you? Mm, hag. John is cute, though. I know he's prettier than I am, and I hate it. I'm just about ready for wigs. I'm going to hit you with some. Okay. When we do the wigs. Or my I can put the band these on the right now. Can you tell her, you know, like, <clears throat> when does the transformation, when you start putting on the makeup for you? Yeah, when the final touches of the makeup starts happening, I, I feel Chantal slipping into the room, too. How would you describe the character? Oh, Chantal really believes that she is the only talent in the club of La Cage Full, and all the other entertainers are simply, have no talent. That's what Chantal feels. Chantal also feels that she has more talent than Zaza, who is, of course, the star attraction at La Cage Full, and feels special, that she should be able to go on just for, for Zaza, or instead of Zaza, and doesn't understand why she, in fact, doesn't do yeah. that all the time. Barely. Don't shut your eyes, but don't. Open She's a diva. Them. Close them down. We'll, we'll, we'll open, we'll a little more open. I like right what she tells Zaza. She tells Zaza. That's all I can. Don't move your eyes. You're doing good. It's almost dry. Now I'm ripping off the lowers. And He's doing great. Yep. Yeah. You guys, you're, you're beautiful. God, you really are. I just got to look at you in the mirror. A little severe, but. Well, I don't know. Nothing you date. Well, Nothing you take home to mother. I don't think I'll be going to the prom either. So. <laughs> Let's see Joel turn to us a little. Okay, I can't move my eyes yet. Oh my God, a little severe? Lady severe. It's a new line of cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at those two. You have bushes on, not eyelashes. That's like a grand right. puma from um, oh. My dear, those aren't calves. They're steers. Or that Richard Simmons. Is that his name? Who's the puma? Simmons. Okay. And now you can open your eyes. You didn't mascara his lashes. I, I did mine afterwards. Oh. Women actually do this? Well. Well, not most of <laughs> them. They do. They ain't dating. In dating? Dating. Oh, in dating. Dating is what you call it in Texas. In dating, too. Right? Dating. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to do something. Do it again, John. Yeah, sorry, Mark. Mark. Mark, I'm sorry, Mark. Yeah, there we go. Tell him that you brought the uh, blush or whatever you bring him. Go right ahead. Please. Go ahead, Mark. Oh, right. great. There you go. This is the blush you need. What's the flavor of it? This is Phaedra blush. It's the top. Phaedra. So it matches your red gown at the end. I get to wear a red gown? You're really good. <gasps> My feet. John, what kind of uh, uh, lipstick are you using on him? What is this one called? This is called Rich as Ruby Gloss Number 5. You know what a guy told me the other day, so I just reminded me, was at the bar, I ordered a martini, and he said, well, martinis are like breasts. One's not enough, and three's too many. Rumpo. Just reminded me of that. OK. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? Terrible lip brush. Yeah. Um, go right ahead. Action. Mark! Oh, great. What do you got? 
And this is your, this is blush, the top blush. It's what only the Phaedrus can use. Because it's a little redder than all the rest. It matches the red dress that you wear on the logo with the anchor on your arm. Oh. The red bonnet. For red dress. And you get to dance with Peter Marshall. Gee. I've asked him a couple times if I can be a contestant. Uh -huh. He says no, but I keep trying. I'm going for the million. What do you think of John? He is uh, the sweetest person to work with. <laughs> He's so nice. <laughs> he is. He is the funniest man living. He cracks me up every single time I go on stage. He makes me laugh. And Phaedra has to do like a disco, like a, like you dance, like a disco with him. Uh huh. And it's funny saying we laugh, have a great time. Once he was he was talking to his children and he was mistook um, one of the girls for one of the guys. Oh, so, yeah, didn't, didn't Debbie have a great ass? And it happened to be Louie. <laughs> oh. Good lips, Johnny. Thanks. It's just this brush doesn't hold much color. I'm, like, abusing his lips. Let me see if I can wipe some it's of this on great you. lips. Yeah. It's kind of, it's my color. It's like purple. This is like a real purple color. I've never. What do you think of Joel now? He looks good, doesn't he? Look at him. Nice, big, sensuous bottom lip. You get a lot of gloss on it. Open your mouth a little. Oh, there you go. I feel like a dentist. Mm. Say ah. Uh. <laughs> uh -huh. oh. oh, this is lip. Or on your lower lip. Can you fill that in sure. without like. Go down the line. That's right. Just go between the lines, like. Okay. Mm hmm. Good stuff. And you can hit your upper lip where the little circle things are. Up here. Mm hmm. Come in. <laughs> here, Alan. Let me give you a lock up. The Marilyn Monroe, like right there. She's one of my favorites. Say it again. I think we should give her a beauty mark. Okay. I think we should give him a beauty mark. What do you think? Like, like, a, a yeah. Marilyn, like Marilyn Monroe? Monroe? Okay. Yeah, right? They go yeah. around once. Right here. Say, uh, how do you guys think the Redskins are going to do this year? <laughs> you still have a roll up on that, Dave. Cowboys are going to beat them. Cowboys you, are going to go to the Super Bowl. No, no. The of Redskins course. are going to be there. Redskins they just got a slow start, you guys. They've already lost. Wait a second. We're trying to sell tickets. <laughs> we lost all our tickets. You did? Yeah, if he, if he's in the air, then he's forgot. So, uh, okay. Give us a little... Oh, look, he's got a great profile. Look, turn to the side. Look at that. It's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> now give a smile, but not a full smile. Just show your teeth. Let your bottom lip drop. Relax your mouth. There you go. Remember inner beauty. <laughs> So, uh, what's your favorite John Wayne movie? <laughs> the Cowboys. The Cowboys, all right. <clears throat> oh, all right, now. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, oh. It's oh. Oh, it's my wig turn. Right. Anything else he needs to have on his face? You see, you got a <laughs> He has a mask, probably. Gee, Anything you know, else? Guys are swell. That's great. Um, Who would have thought? My mother always wanted a girl. I'm too. getting you in the mirror. Actually, Thank I you. think. I it's better that she didn't live as short of a disappointment. Well, they told us all about their mothers, what their mothers thought well, the first time. I'd like to say I look like my mother, but I don't think so. I hate to break it to you. Do you know where my mother here is? Uh, uh, what you really need, I think, is just simply a great deal of distance. Mm-hmm. That will be a nice... How about Cleveland? It'll be fine. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not going to fine. I think I'm sweet. Oh, I think you're quite lovely. I mean, I can fall. I can be narcissistic. I can fall in love with myself like this. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Nightmare. I'm so as you're talking about being narcissistic. All right. Want me to repeat that? Yeah, right. repeat it. Well, I can be narcissistic even like this. I think I'm sweet. It's me. Costume on. Sure. Just to ease. <laughs> and uh, go right ahead. Okay. Well. Oh, they've got like independent suspension. 
Yeah. 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 Then the next thing I do is go down to my wig appointment and put on my tap dress. And it's high heels. If you don't want to watch my technique, I have done. I'm a singer. My <laughs> shoes. Oh, real comfortable. Particularly with taps on them. But silver always has been a favorite color of mine. I wish my mother was here to do this. No. I mean the scenes, but I don't do it. You don't them. do it. No. Yeah. Chantal doesn't tumble. Never die. It would muss my hair. Party. <laughs> We're in the shower. <laughs> Now be careful they don't slam shut. He's gonna put his tabs on too. Joel, do you see these shoes they have to wear? These are like 275. These are for 275 pair. What size are those? Chantal doesn't have petite feet, but she has other talents. Two seconds later, comes back up and wants to. Who are you? You're not in this. What? Don't you drag? I'll try and hurry up with my wig. So long. So long. You gonna get your costume in? Let's try that costume on. No, Al. I'll do it. And may I remind you again? Please do not leave valuables in your dressing room, not during the show, and certainly not when you're not here. Fifteen minutes, please. The call is fifteen. Fifteen minutes. Joel, let's see it. I feel like Joan Freedom Crawford. I'm telling you. You guys have great legs. What's that? You look like him. That was Joel looking in the mirror down here as if you're still. Joel, look in the mirror down here as if you're still. Well, in my day, I was quite something. In your day? You got a good memory. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> Joel, what do you think of them? So you, look like I, you guys are marvelous. You look like really my twin guys. sister. <laughs> you guys are beautiful. You really are. Yeah. The, Thank Depends you. on your perspective, certainly. Oh, of course. Well, there was a stage Part hand really. backstage in one town that said to me, if I didn't know better, I swear I'd be in love. Well, you so, can't ask for better than that. No. Proof is in the footer. Mm. <sighs> what might have been a career in the theater. Well. I cannot think of anything. It's a nice color on you, Joel. Joel, we need to come up with something. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, what I can tell you about this experience is that I have always depended upon the kindness of strangers, and I thank you very much. <laughs> he will. I mean, he will. He won't stop. He won't stop? No. Okay. Take him down the hall or to his own room or just try to. You going to go to my room? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that little schmata on your head is kind of cute. I wish I had thought of it. Thanks. I don't look much like a guy, though.
Can you, can you, they each do something. Can you right. try to see if you can get in the show? Do something? Yeah, well, okay. Well, well, you <laughs> have a specialty. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do that. Neither could I. You learn. You learn. You'll learn. But I'm older. Quiet. <laughs> Much older. Now, each of you has a, a specialty that you do in the show. Mm -hmm. Like, right. what's yours? My eyelashes. And you? I sing. And? And I have big hips and walk and stick out my tongue. Uh-huh. And uh, what do you think that leaves me with? Um, Backstage? No. Backstage. Uh, hairdressing. I curtain. think you'd be a wonderful the hairdresser. hairdresser. Well, Pull the curtain. Spotlight. Well, or first flute? Maybe I could. <laughs> Could I, like, be a wardrobe assistant or something? Well, have you ever considered the wonderful world of fast food? How, how, did your, <laughs> how did your voice change? You sound like a girl. Oh, I don't know. It's one of those things. The, the lipstick lip. and I, the sensual heart-shaped lips. Well, I... What a world of fast food. I could go, you know, down the street and try Death of a Salesman, maybe. Good. Maybe there's something Death there. Death of a Drag Queen, you could call it. <laughs> okay. I, no hope for Joel. No. No hope, is that what you want to say? No cash ale, huh? I'm going to hand him a box to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, just one, two, three, kind of snappy, and go. Don't give up your day job, but have fun. Thank you. Now, don't cry, darling. It'll be fine. It's Thank great you. that you've got the M magazine. Break a leg. Thanks. Well, maybe at midnight, the pumpkin will turn into a coach or something. That was great. Very nice, very great. quick. Through well when the sensuality is not there. Then how would you like to be queen for a day? For the high-stepping ladies from La Caja Full, life is never a drag. Step out with the high-kicking casuals. With them, life is never a drag. <laughs> Playbook. Good evening, everyone. Back friends. Now playing at Washington's National Theater, La Caja Fole. It is not only the hottest ticket in town, it is an outrageous show. And yes, you heard correctly, men do dress up as women, just as they did back in Shakespeare's time. Each night, audiences try to figure out if La Caja, the stunning chorus line performers, are really men or women. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I, Joel, the macho kid, went backstage at the National Theater to find out if I, too, would enjoy being a girl. My name is Philip Clayton, and I play Chanton. I'm John Klontz, and I'll be playing Odette. My name is Joel, but tonight, I'll be Katrina. So now I'm about to begin to become Phaedra. Every night, as you are about to witness, these actors, with the help of Maybelline, Max Factor, and Clairol, become Le Cajel, the gender-bending chorus line of La Caja Full. La, la. The smell of the grease paint, the roar of the crowd. You know, I've done a lot of scary things in television. I've repelled down a river gorge with a rescue team, flown aerial stunts with one of the Blue Angels. But somehow I have a feeling this is the one they're going to remember me for. I think I have it. Wait a minute. Pan stick. Who's got my pan stick? Thank you. It's interesting to watch the transformation I've noticed with some of the other cast members as each uh, different application goes on. Sometimes the character starts coming out and you notice more and more of the, the person that they're going to be playing in the evening. Chantal has sensual heart-shaped lips. I give seminars if you're interested. How long does this generally take you to do once you've learned it? Uh, about uh, 40 minutes. Uh -huh. For me, 
For you, we'll do it in a week. By now, I'm sure that you've caught on. Yes, these hairy beasts, myself included, are about to become beauties. Beauties? Well, yes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I think the most interesting thing is you see yourself uh, as if you were a woman. If you had been born a woman, this is what you would probably look like. My mother really thinks she loves most of my wigs. She loves my long red hair. And this one point, and that's her favorite thing in the whole show. She did give me some pointers. <laughs> she told me I was wearing too much eyeliner, so I cut back. Performing in Lacage, these actors have a newfound appreciation for the female gender. Men really do have a simple deal. Shave the stubble, douse with cologne, and a man's ready for the jungle. But women, mon dieu, they do have a tough deal. Just look at me. He looks good, doesn't he? Look at him. Oh, I think you're quite lovely. I mean, I can fall. I can be narcissistic. I can fall in love with myself like this. I don't think we have Miss America potential, but... <laughs> All kidding aside, for these actors, becoming women for a couple of hours a night is quite simply another character to perform. You go in there, and you walk in as a man, and you put on your makeup, and you go on stage, and you do your character, and then you walk out. 15 minutes, please. The call is 15. 15. You can be in cats, let's but, say. And the, and the cats thing is you don't walk around and, like, sniff friskies all day, you know? And so we don't look at high heels all day. Yeah. Much older. Now, each of you has a, a specialty that you do in the show. Mm -hmm. Like, right. what's yours? My eyelashes. And you? I see. And? And I have big hips and walk and stick out my tongue. Uh-huh. And uh, what do you think that leaves me with? Um, backstage? Don't cry, darling. You'll be fine. It's Thank great you. that you've got your magazine. Break a leg. Thanks. As they say here at Lacage, you are what you are. It really was quite an experience, and they are a terrific bunch of gentlemen. By the way, here's a bit of trivia they shared with me. The shoes they wear have to be custom-made. They have to be. Imagine trying to find a pair of snazzy heels in, like, a size 12 AA. Well, these shoes cost about $350 a pair. By the way, La Caja Foll is playing at the National Theater. It is a great show. Don't miss it, and don't worry, I'm not in it. Stay with us. Next up, come blow your horn.
Monsieur Dodd, for you're the light and the songbird of Avignon. When she opens her golden throat, the swallows return in shape. Permit me to present Chantal. Pot, 
his brains out with rock and roll? Would you believe me? All right. Now, get dressed. Please. 